Good morning, welcome to this week's news video which comes from a place of great sadness of course as we um, think about the uh, death of Queen Elizabeth last night. Um, the church is open for prayer and will be open all day um, and um, it's a good moment for us to take stock as all these times of great change are. Uh, somebody said, I think it was yesterday, I heard that uh, the Queen was um, particularly um, influential in that she spoke all the time about her faith and she shocked none but she influenced and, in, and invited everyone. And uh, I love that sort of epitaph that, uh, that, that sum up in a sense that her life of, of great faith, um, faithfulness and faith and uh, one that we do well to ponder on and meditate on uh, at the moment. So as I say, the church will be open all day today for people to come in, do come in if you have a moment, just to pray and to reflect. Uh, let's also pray for those who come into this building, that it will be a place of welcome and a place of peace. And let's bear uh, in our hearts today um, the nation and the nations of the world as we reflect and that the example of the Queen and her great faith and her love for Jesus Christ will be something that hits people and that marks them and is an example for them. Um, this Sunday we're continuing our series that we launched last week on patterns, patterns that can shape us as Christians as we seek to follow Jesus Christ as disciples and it just so happens that this week we're looking at a first pattern around the theme of Scripture. How can our lives be moulded and shaped by Scripture? And what better example to take than the Queen, who lived her life uh, rooted in the promises she made um, when she was young, uh, committed to Scripture and to living out uh, her faith uh, soaked in the Word of God. So we're going to be looking at how we can do the same and how we can develop healthy rhythms of, of life uh, that are not shaken by circumstance, but that are solid because rooted in the Word of God that never changes. So today be blessed, let's seek God and let's turn our hearts and our minds to Him um, in gratitude for a life well lived, but also praying for the world in these difficult times that the Lord Jesus might uh, be there and people might discover him even through pain. So be blessed today and I look forward to seeing you this weekend.